Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully fix the Windows Update Error 0x8007490. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial in store for you guys today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the Start menu. And you want to type in the services. Best match should come back with services right above desktop app. Left click on that one time to open up services. And we're going to be adjusting a couple of services in here just to turn them on and off. So just make sure everything's up and running. First thing I'd recommend going to would be the, if you scroll down a little bit, the cryptographic services. I'm going to double click on that. Make sure service status is running, so if it's stopped, click on start, and you want to set startup type to automatic, left click on OK. Then you want to do the same thing for background intelligence transfer service, so double click on that. Again, either automatic or delayed start, either one's fine, make sure service status is running. And now you want to go down until you get to the Windows Update service, so I'm going to go down a little bit right here, double click on it. Startup type, you want to set that to automatic and you want to make sure server status is running. Left click on apply and OK if you have to change any of those. Restart your computer. See if that's resolved the issue. Now if it has not, I would further suggest if you have any restore points. So if you open up the start menu, type in system restore. You might have an option to create a restore point. If you already had any enabled, so if we had it configured here and it was turned on for example, you'd have the ability to go underneath System Restore. This button would not be grayed out. And then if you had any restore points saved, you'd be able to go back in time. So I'd actually suggest that if possible. Now, if that's not possible, um, again, if that does work, it'll go through the System Restore process and then check for updates, of course, once you're done. But if that did not work, we're going to go on to the next method, which would be to open up the command prompt. So just type in CMD into the Start menu. And best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now into this elevate command line window, you want to type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup minus sign image space forward slash restore health exactly it appears on my screen so you have capitalized DISM so the first letter in that capitalized the O in online the C and the I in clean up image which is all put together in one unit here space forward slash restore health and restore health the R and re restore and the H and health are both capital even though they're both attached you want to hit enter on your keyboard one time to run that it'll begin deploying the image servicing and management tool so it will take some time to run, so please be patient on that. Now, I would let that run, restart your computer, hopefully that's resolved the issue. Now, if you're still experiencing problems and you've restarted your computer, then the next thing I would actually try would be to open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, I'm going to Google Chrome though for this tutorial. And we're going to be going and locating a free utility that should hopefully be able to clean it up pretty good. Any remaining stuff. You can also use the built-in Windows troubleshooters as well. That's another thing you can try. But this tool is a little bit more involved, so I'm going to just show you guys how we're going to go about that. So you want to navigate over to google.com. And once you're at Google, you want to type in tweaking.com. Repair tool, you want to hit enter. Windows Repair Free slash Pro. Again, it should be from tweaking.com. You want to go down on this page. Don't click on any download buttons except for the ones underneath here where it says installer and portable. I'm going to select the installer for the direct download here. So I'm going to select direct download. It's about 36 megabytes, so it might take a couple moments to download here.
Okay, so once it's finished downloading, I'm just going to lock on at one time to run the installer. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Select next. Next again. Next and next. You can close out or minimize out of the web browser. At if you want to create a desktop icon, you can. I'm going to keep over these checked for the moment. I'll off click on next and then finish. So it should automatically open up if you kept that box checked. Okay, you want to agree to the end user license agreement. So left click on the repairs main tab and then left click on open repairs. You want to left click on I understand the risk. And then once you have these items selected over here, you can go through and only check the ones you necessarily maybe need. Maybe you don't need to do all of them. But you should left click on start repairs. This would take some time to run, just be patient. And then once it's finished, it should be able to resolve the issue and give you a log file of exactly what it found. 
So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.